So there we go. That's the sort of first proper on-camera costume test. Yeah, the it looks the the sort of shin guards look really good with the boots actually because it's got quite a nice gloss effect. Yeah, the red does stand out. I've got to be honest. No, but no, it'll be, I will be in black. Thank you. Yeah. It's all gonna be black. The main thing I want to stand out is obviously his face and obviously his armor. Yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. How good is it to, to move in? Yeah, it's pretty good. The only good. thing that's annoying is bending on my chest, that crunching yeah. my chest up. That looks good. That's a throttle, that's... Cool. <coughs> Hi guys, George here on the set of No Loose Ends, currently in the Molasan costume. But currently we're going to go over the set which I had to build. Um, when Pete approached for this idea, we both agreed that we both wanted a set for the spaceship because obviously it's better than uh, just green screening it because it's better have something you can actually, Pete said he wanted stuff so you can actually hear the audible sound like the clicky buttons. Probably a good thing to start is this console bit here. Um, to take, this is all, the entire set is assembled out of foam board, cardboard, tape as you can probably tell when you get close up scenes like this pole is foam board wrapped in gaffer um the this and this is just cardboard the cardboard box spray painted and the controls themselves so we've got the big acceleration thing um this is foam board wrapped in gaffer tape to which i added these little push pins just to make it look like they're bolted on it's just simply just glued down and thank you that does have a nice little swivel action because i thought it's very it's a lot easier than well, for terms of making, this is a lot easier to make than the bloody, like one of them, type levers. Um, and also, I think this kind of looks a bit, a bit cooler and a bit more dynamic. And then you've got these here, um, which is the nice switch panel, which is Pete's probably favourite part of this. Would you agree? Yeah. Um, and you've got these weird symbols. I th now, I thought about adding these symbols just because I thought it's a bounty hunter ship from the Star Wars universe. It wouldn't have English on it. And these are just screwed on because these can't come off if I destroy this thing. Um, it's just a push light and a bit of cardboard. So yeah, just a little crap push light. Just so as nice bit when it's when it's in use it adds a bit more light to the set. Yeah, simple thing as this is a calculator, just on a bit of card at the bottom, which is again just got some um, black permanent markers around the edging just to and I make it look at just give it out and I make it look used. It's just been spray painted silver and I taped off obviously the screen. Still works. Which I'm not gonna turn it on because it looks a bit weird. This is actually just the Jeff K box. With some gubbins on it, this bit, this knob does turn. Now, if I take it out, it's just a bit of cardboard on a drink table which I painted. Going to the top part here, we have more push lights on top. Just to add, just because even though we have got like a nice studio light, which is held by the lovely Owen, um, this just adds a uh, yeah, <laughs> that's that's in there. This has just a nice little bit of a um, bit more lighting directly on the console, and this is just more cardboard and foam board and gaffer, which I just made look so just more buttons there, so. I was originally planning on putting switches up there, but I, trying when I tried to make it, it wouldn't hold. So I thought, just put them there, so at least they're there. Uh, but this is just so it looks a bit more spaceshipy because it's got uh, just screens, buttons, and crap like that. The walls, obviously, you can probably tell now because they're just spray painted foam board with gaffer tape seams. But thankfully, due to my costume, me being here, it hides a bit in the lighting that we also sorted out. And the chair, just a simple, nice black chair, which is very comfortable, thankfully, because I've had to do a lot of sitting, because we've had to do a lot of different shots, just make sure everything works. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is obviously the control lever, it does move. Just do a little bit of wriggling around, but obviously, it's not really much point, because at least you only see in the end shop. And obviously, because where I've done this, this literally will just come off randomly, which Pete found out when the first time I got on the set. But apart from that, that's basically the rundown. The roof is kind of, these walls are, good thing about these roof walls are they are moldable, so they can fold in on themselves. I'm very happy with how this turned out and it looks good on camera which is the main thing because it's a very cheap set it probably if you made it it could you could probably make this for like 20 pounds I don't know the rest of you guys here um, what do you guys think of the set I think it's fabulous correct, correct. correct answer <laughs> what about you Owen it's very creative for the budget that we have uh, which is basically no none. budget but if you want to invest in FBC productions call Pete Who's behind the camera right now? That's when you. That's when you turn the camera. Oh, oh do I turn the camera? Go to the mirror. Yeah, the just point at the oh. mirror. That's Pete. Yeah. To me. I think all the budget for this film went on the cost. Went on obviously the costume. Right. Do you want to kind of forking out at the end bit here? Yeah. Would you want this in black or purple? Um, 
If this isn't a suit, oh, okay, so it's purple at the moment. I think it'd be cool to have it in black. It's certainly an S. Maybe if you can add almost like give it almost the the little the little arms coming off. Maybe give it that sort of split them at the end, so it's almost like a claw. A boy looks like Randall from Monsters Inc. That's fine. Randall, do you want me, I oh, can, that's good. I can if you want. I can literally lightly go over this purple and mute it a bit with uh, making more black. I think it looks quite good with the purple contrasting the black. Do it adds to... a bit more color. Plus, it's not going to look purple once all the color gradings on it. You should film with like a sick like Iron Man suit up oh, sequence. We could, could have had a montage. Right, Owen, get your coat. Oh, yeah, can you actually help me? Yeah. Just come and help me. I'm coming, I'm coming. I can't really bend down on this main road when help. So how are you finding filming so far today, Owen? You're very chilly, but I am wearing many layers. I've got a, I've actually got a base layer underneath her and another base layer underneath my jeans. Yeah. So I am well prepared. My shoes, they are hiking shoes according to the Adidas website. So this is the perfect place to be wearing them. I've, I've, I've just come fully suited. As a, as a true Jedi would be. You know, as a true, true Jedi, Jedi would be. And here is George getting ready to suit up. Why did the tomato blush? Because it's all the salad dressing. <laughs> <laughs> The veteran FBC fans will recognise this. No, they won't, because it's a, I, I, I made, it's a new one I made. Well, there's a new mask. Doctor, I'm sorry. Ooh, ah! <laughs> it's me, Claris. What's going on, dude? Wait a minute. You, okay, I'm, not, I'm not even in the right universe. Ah, oh, shucks. Yeah. <laughs> you may not know this, but earlier we had a guy like pacing back and forth over there, just peeking in at us. It was very strange. And then, he, and, then he, and then he walked down the side while still looking at us and he sort of made a circle around and then he was over there sort of like where are we filming today this is Ockham Common Ockham Common home of Britain's best bacon roll That's and crazy. Pete and I we had it uh, it's very good it is very good yeah. I was surprised actually I was really really oh. terrible <laughs> yeah. it was like, I've been to it it was, it was, like, it was like a slightly bit crispy and crunchy I was like oh that's Ooh, nice it's a bit different yeah. bacon nice nice the bun was breaded the bun was breaded <laughs> <laughs> a bun. <laughs> it was, it was uh, buttered. It was great stuff. I might get another one after we finish filming, to be fair. Depending on time, I'm going Depen to Depending on time. So this is the excellent armour made by Mr. George Hayes. That's damn right. <clears throat> oh, He's got a ceremonial dresser, JJ. Thank you, JJ. That's alright. Thank you. Hold on. Can we... oh, I'm ready. And action. I was meant to turn that side That's my fault. That's all right, let's give it another go. Okay, oh. 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 and three, two, one, and action. Oh my God. <laughs> sorry, it's sorry. It's got acting, Owen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, that was my fault, all right. Yeah, okay, and action. Okay, that's off camera. I'm gonna try that again, and action. It's still off camera. Right, this is the problem okay. we're doing on the hill. Oh. Is it on camera there? Yes. Then I'll look for it at that. I'm just higher than that. Yeah. Cause... And action. Oh, no. No. It's close. Okay. Third time. It's not even the first time. Um. Oh, oh, can we just, just throw it as high as you can? Like, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Can we do it one more time? That's a good throw. That's a good throw. Definitely the best one. <clears throat> it's, it's the best one in terms of location. And action. Yes. So you do this and cut the book. Cut cut. Yeah, we'll, we'll need to cut to it. Shall I twist this because so you don't see all the copyright stuff? Uh, yes. No, and no, action. Swords. Now he's got two swords. He's unstoppable. <laughs> um, and action. Ah! 
Oh, 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 oh. Just, <laughs> it was good actually. It was, was good to that part. I don't like sand. It's coarse and irritating and it gets everywhere. <laughs>